So I'm now going to show you how to create a submix. Submixes are unbelievably useful in Mixdown in both the studio and live situation. And the whilst we can do a lot of what we do with the submix using a group, um, it's much better sonically and for audio techniques to utilize the submix. So I'm going to submix the drums here. So I click on the bass drum, then hold down shift and click on the snare and click on the overhead. So that shift click just selects them all. Very useful function to know about. Now, this is a little bit Pro Tools Ninja now, knowing another little key command, which is very important. On the output buttons here, it currently says control room. So at the moment, the drums, everything is going straight to my headphone output. Just to prove that, a, a case, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that little submix here. There's going to be a fader appears just between the overheads and the bass guitar that will control the overall level of the drums. So in my output fader, I need to change that to something else. So if I hold down Shift and Alt option at the same time, what that means is it does to all selected. These three things are selected, so what I'll do, it will do to all of those. So hold down that, click on the output button, and down the bottom you see it says New Track. Now automatically, Pro Tools will say, do you want a stereo aux input? Because it knows that's kind of what I'm doing. So I'm happy with that. Two things, has to be stereo, otherwise your pan controls will just be useless and it has to be an aux input because aux inputs are control channels and that's what I'm doing controlling things over here where it says name I'm just going to type in drum sub whoops sub mix like that and click and create and lo and behold there it is now you can see the output buttons of those three drum tracks have actually changed so they're outputting down a bus called the drum sub mix and this track is getting its input from that same bus okay so if I use my highlighter, um, we can see that those tracks there are outputting to there, okay? And then that outputs to the control room, like that, which is just our master fader. So that means that the signal from the drums is going to go through this channel before it gets to there. So now just to prove that that's happening, if I hit play, I can turn the drums right down. Okay, I can turn the drums right up, I can mute them like that, and, oh, wait a minute, solo doesn't work. Now, what you have to remember here is what happens when we solo something. Solo means turn off everything except that channel. And the second we hit solo, what that means is that it uh, turns off the inputs from there as well. So we need to enter a mode called solo safe. Now, this is very simple, we just have to know about it. So in the kick channel I'm going to hit command hold down command and click on the solo button and you see it comes grayed out that sort of deactivates the solo button I've done the same on the snare and the overheads and because we now have solo in the drum submix that will override that solo so this now means play the track if we want to hear the drum soloed hit that now and we get all the drums and we can turn them up and down or bring them all back again Okay, now once again in the uh, uh, in the best demonstration mode, I'll show you that one more time on the guitar tracks. So this time I'm going to create a submix of the guitar tracks. So once again I click on one of them, then hold down shift to select the others that I want to be in the subgroup this time, not the group, the subgroup. Then I will go to the output button of one of those tracks. I'll uh, use the last one actually. And I'll hold down shift and alt or option, that's the do to all selected function. Then click there and select new track. Again, I want a stereo auxiliary input and we'll call it guitars like that. Click and create. And there now we have a single fader that will control all the guitar tracks. Just to prove it's happening. So now all we hear is the bass and the drums. How useful is that? Want to hear the bass on its own? Now just solo safe all those guitar tracks, okay? So hold down command and click on solo on each of those tracks that have been routed to that submix. And that now means that if I hit solo, there's all my guitars all soloed beautifully. I can uh, unsolo that and bring all the drums and everything back, bring the drums back up. 
So that's submixing. It's really, it's a very simple process. It's incredibly useful, uh, and it can actually help you in your mix down. I, I will show you just a little advanced one. If I open up, uh, open up the track menu here, we can actually hide the drum tracks and just leave. Oops, I've hidden the submix as well. And then we could hide all the individual guitar tracks too and leave just the submix. So now we can actually mix just using the submix tracks like that. Um, if we needed to and say, okay, well, the acoustic guitar is not quite loud, uh, loud enough, we can open it up again and then adjust it within the submix. But then we can hide it again up here and then just mix utilizing submixes. Some people will uh, do a mix by doing that, balancing all the instruments and then ending up with those. And that's sometimes referred to as stem mixing. Okay, so that's submixing. Very, very useful function.